Hi, I'm Jeremy. This is JJ. Hello. We're going to walk through one of the things we like to make in the mornings on a lazy Saturday, and that is a loaded omelet. So we're going to get started. Obviously, number one, wash those hands. All right. So here's what we like to do with our omelets. We like to go through the refrigerator and just see what's in there. And if it's in there, we decide to put it in. So we went through our refrigerator this morning and we found um, a little bit of a bell pepper. We found some bacon bits made with real bacon. We found some paste picante sauce. Obviously, cheese. you betcha. Never use too much cheese. There's some baby mushrooms. Um, I looked for some turkey meat or ham, but it looks like we're out. So it's time to go to the grocery store, but if we had some of that, we would probably cut it up and put it in there too. Um, the nice thing about an omelet is you can just scramble up pretty much anything you want. AJ is cutting up our bell pepper. As you can see, he's cutting some thin strips here. Then you turn them sideways and just start cutting them into nice small squares. Let's take over there to the pan and dump it in. Ingredient and number two. There's the mushrooms. Here we are. We don't have a fresh onion, but we happen to have some onion from the freezer. So it's already been chopped up. I did that last weekend. And so just take a, a little bit over that. We'll take it over to the pan and put some onion in the pan. If you have real bacon, you can cut it up. We're gonna cheat with some bacon bits. All right. Okay, so now it's time for the eggs. So notice we, we got the stuff in the pan over there in the background, but we haven't started cooking because you really wanna get everything ready when it comes to an omelet because once the pan gets hot, it starts to cook pretty quickly and you want to have everything ready. You don't want to be messing with trying to cut an egg open and mix it up. I know that from personal up. experience. Well, I've had many burnt omelets. That's true. Anybody that's cooked omelets has had that personal experience. So today we're doing a two egg omelet. And JJ's putting the eggs inside of a cup. And the reason we're doing this is it becomes a little bit easier to scramble when you do it this way. We also uh, usually break the eggs on top of a newspaper or something like that because it's a little bit easier to clean up. You don't make a big mess. And something that we also like to do is add a little bit of milk. Adding a little bit of milk just helps your eggs be a little fluffier. bit fluffier. Yeah. And it helps them not to uh, not to be so dry. Now JJ's going to scramble those up. Okay, now we've got everything ready. So we're going to start the actual cooking. JJ's going to turn the the stove on high and we're going to get the first start of those ingredients uh, just to sizzle a little bit and you want to get your uh, get them all spread <laughs> kind of to the spread out and then to the middle of the pan because what we're going to do is we're going to take that egg that we worked so hard to scramble and just put it right on top of there and here it goes so here's our omelet now with the hot pan it'll It'll take just a couple of minutes. Go ahead and put a little bit of salt and pepper in there and we'll wait for it to start to bubble. It's starting to bubble up, which means your bottom is starting to get cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little of the paste picante sauce right there in the middle. All right. And then, of course, you want to add the cheese. All right, then your last step after you get that on is to flip it over and get your, your omelet ready. And the flip doesn't have to look pretty because it's going to taste the same. It's going to taste great. Although, that is a very good flip. Look at that thing. There you go. Mmm, look at that gooey goodness. All right, this has been cooking for a few minutes now, and it looks about ready to go. 
So JJ smartly turns off the stove top, slides it onto the plate, and bon appetit. Good job. All right, let's see that thing. It's beautiful. It is very beautiful. All right. Obviously, today is a uh, Saturday, and so you're going to enjoy the, the meal. Don't forget to bless it, and don't forget to pray for a Razorback victory. Enjoy your breakfast. Enjoy your breakfast. Sugar, do you want that omelet? I want that omelet. I bet she does.